Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Agrarian skies? Agrarian? Agrarian skies? Agrarian skies. One of those. We're playing one of those. One of those mod packs. You can figure out which one it is. <laughs> oh, so it's starting to bring you guys up to date on things that have changed. Uh, first of all, I've reordered these things a little bit, and I've also started sticking on upgrades. You see how they're slightly lighter colored? 4096 items, 8192. So these can hold twice as much. Mm -hmm. And I might need to do that on those pretty soon. Yes, um, I've expanded my little bit area of machines here. So we now have a flu fluid transporter and a uh, transposer and a magma crucible. Um, and the energizer for... Mm, the thingy that looks like that thingy. This thingy! <laughs> uh, I haven't used it in a little bit, but it was very, very handy to go through and get a whole bunch of leaves and such. Uh, oh, this is new. My little 3x3 three three farm is now this huge honking beast. Complete with uh, perpendicular to each other. Uh... What are they called? Sprinklers? Sprinklers, yes. And everything just kind of goes back here to one single boiler, which is very quiet. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Chopping down like one or two trees instantly fills this up. So this was redesigned to give us higher volume of dirt. Unfortunately, the side effect is that it gives us a huge volume of uh, oak. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm talking to you buddies. So it first tries to go here. Uh, this is a filter set on it. Let me show you. The only thing this will accept is oak. That's why I can put this here as the first place for it to go. And it will constantly make charcoal. The charcoal comes over here and powers two steam dynamos. Uh, I have an, uh, the aqueous accumulator powers the steam dynamos. It also feeds into the sprinkler system and I put the water around it this time just, you know, it wasn't likely to run dry before but I just really didn't want it to this time. Uh, and this works fairly well. It's usually pretty good at keeping the power for the system up. Uh, the only time that it really takes a hit is when um, the input or the output I guess gets stuffed up so it doesn't have a chance to go through and really get rid of all the stuff that it wants to. Um, that happens when we get too much oak. Uh, so I do know there is a, uh, there is a hoarding quest, I guess, that uses oak. So don't hate me for doing that, but right now the dirt and the other byproducts of this are much more important, and I freaking got 128 stacks of it in there. I got it all throughout my chest over here. I got another farm of it right over there. I <sighs> we are not in any great uh, distress of needing oak wood right now. So um, a little thing to note is I originally had one of the tree squares set up to do rubber saplings, but the sacred rubber sapling trees exist, and they're not that rare, <laughs> as you can see. Fifty-nine of one, twenty-five of the other. So about fifty-fifty or. Uh, a uh, 30% chance, I guess. Add them all together, one, about one third of them are uh, sacred saplings. And those are the things that make the ungodly huge oaks, which, you know, we don't really want. Yeah. <laughs> Life core? What? Flood? Flood? Wait, wait, flood? Uh, that's kind of scary, that name. I like how you can click on the uh, result to cycle through the components. Anyways, um, what was I doing? That, that whole flood thing kind of has me really nervous now. Oh. Uh, do, 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 do. But, so I couldn't run it, because I, I don't want one of the uh, the sacred sapling trees to grow. 
Uh, there's just, it's too much, you know? Just a little too much. This is still one of my, uh... Yeah, see, more freaking oak wood. Not my best producer of dirt, but it is a good uh, side product. Is the items in here uh, more than enough saplings to keep this thing going? More than enough carrots to keep it going? Whoa! It even doubled up on the carrots. Oh yeah! So I can just use the excess of these as more ways to get dirt. Um, when I was using my uh, sickle earlier, I was doing it over here by hand, and I would just come over here and then just stuff these things full. A little bit over uh, two stacks can be filled into this at a time. It worked out pretty well. Got us quite a bit of dirt. Uh, I've upgraded this. I have a secondary uh, thing of lava up here. This is going to be for uh, emergencies when it's needed. But for the most part, this system does not need it, and it's just producing... Um, smooth stone for me, which, as you guys can see, I have been hard at work on this. So I'll just give you guys a quick update of this because we're not actually doing uh, any sort of infrastructure or terraforming today. Today is going to be questing because I am finally done with the skyblock stuff, and we get to look into the quest for your wizard, Steve. Mm -mm -mm. But this is where I ran out of smooth stone earlier. <laughs> so I got my little back area here. This has the, uh, this will have like a cave that we can enter into here. And then I want it to run back around here and into this ravine. And then I want the ravine to either come out right here, maybe, or I might be having water come down here and into the river there. If that's the case, then I'll have the ravine come out on this side, or maybe this little angular side here. Uh, but So that's the general layout that we had from uh, when we pushed all this stuff down. This, I think, would be another pool of water. And what's going to be... Well, I, I can just do it this way. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't been able to get back up here since I built it and hopped off. Uh, but this is going to be a little bit of a plateau. The mountain over here is going to be higher than the one we're standing on. Uh, I'm going to be raising up this ground here more still. Uh, probably wrap around there, coming down through here, and then around that way. Is I kind of want the ravine and the tunnel to go down through there. But anyway, um, this is set up to also be water. So we'll have the water. It will come down and flow down over this edge here, and down around the side and trickle off into the great beyond. And it's also going to do the same thing over here. I got a little bit more of a, a trail for it here, though. Is I will need to raise up uh, like an edge or something over here. Raise this up a bit. Probably do some gla gra grass, a nice little plateau. We'll have the water able to fall down here, go down and over the side. And it will also be able to come down here. Maybe make a little pool here. Come on down, another little pool. And then down here and off the side again. So I think this is going to be a really neat area. Uh, it clearly needs its uh, topping still, it needs to be grass. All of this down here needs to be a little bit more substantial. I think I am going to... Uh, Ooh, excuse me. I just shoveled a whole bunch of food in my face, so... I guess I ate a little too fast. Um, but yeah, I am going to build this up here as well to be a little bit more thick. But I've also started uh, the lower areas down here, where everything is nice and smooth, and it's not a quick... Um, uptake, I've been putting down uh, dirt and such, and let's very carefully walk around here, get you guys the full picture. Yeah, alright. Here's our little back patio area. This is where the waterfall will be coming down, and this is where we will be building uh, the cave into the mountain need to put some more dirt on there. And we got another little narrow edge here. And this area that I'm on right now, guys, is not meant to be walked on. This is uh, meant to be looked over. <laughs> uh, so the last thing is this upper plateau. I did not have enough dirt to finish it at the time. I do now. Uh, this is just slowly spreading the grass. I don't think I have, uh, yeah, I don't have the, the watering can on me. Oh, look, apples. 
Yeah, I could always use more apples to make into mulch. <laughs> Swoosh. Oh, what a time for a frame skip. Oh, so the river is also two blocks deep all the way around. Um, one of the interesting and fun things to do is going to be when I start replacing the the bed of the river is I do want it to be deeper in other areas, so we're going to have to go down. I'm not willing to go up any higher than we already have. So that's a thing. <laughs> um, this over here on the corner, uh, Talonine was fishing in the ocean a little earlier, and he donated me this. I got a piece of coral rock, which I will use for decoration down there a little later, once we get into uh, shaping up the oceans and everything. But I do think that brings everybody up to date on the going-ons here. Oh, um, I lost six of my uh, ender lilies. I don't know why. Um, so I sifted a bunch of dirt until I got four more grass seeds. And I just made four more seeds, so I'd be, I was back up to six again. I had five one time. He gave me an extra one. I was so happy. And then I logged down this morning, and they were gone. I don't know if it was because of where I had them planted. Uh, they were next to my other little farm, where the sprinkler would just barely get them. Maybe they don't like sprinkles? But there wasn't anything there when I logged in this morning, so... A little disappointing on that. But anywho. Anywho. We're done with all of that. All of it! All of it! Hmm. Bam. Bam. All quests completed. Oh yeah. So I finished up the last one. Got our reward bag. Oh, let me show you what I got on my last two reward bags. You guys will be astounded. Okay, I got a spiked sword. You know, very awesome. And blackberry jelly. Or blackberry juice, my bad. And cherry jelly. Yeah, I was very, very disappointed with that. Very, very... Very, very, very. So anyways, we move on. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Hell's Kitchen is the one that I had already done the first one. Or actually, I guess the first two on. But this was just to get the initial rewards. I really haven't done anything else here with this one. Uh, and I'm not looking to right off the bat. Right now I have a pizza supplier, uh, Sun King. Sun King's Pizza Delivery Service. So, uh, this cost me half a stack of beef and quarter stack of ender pearls. But I've been eating it for... I've been playing around and jumping up and down working on that mountain. I've gone through 11 of them. So I'm pretty happy with that deal. And I will keep on making it so I can focus on the other things. Oh, so I'm not going to get into Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Long way of saying that. No, I'm not going to be doing that right now. This, Steelworks. Steel working in you. Now they now now that you have a smeltery <clears throat> Okay, now that you have a smeltery and hopefully some resources in place, you might be looking for more durable materials. Steel is quite tough and it's going to be needed if you want to advance in Tinker's construct tools. Um <laughs> I actually bought my steel from somebody else. Pour molten seared stone over te materials and me book in a casting table to get the steelwork guidebook. You know, for how easy that is... Oh. How easy that is going to be to do over at somebody else's place. <laughs> Let's go do that. I wonder how much uh, material I need. Steel. Where is the book? There we go. Eight millibuckets. Where can I get eight millibuckets? Stone blade. Four. Cobble. One piece of cobble. And we have that on us. Somewhere in here I have my binder book. Oops. And that is where I had taken the materials and meat book. And if I can't find it here quickly, we shall just skip this quest and come back to it later, because this is kind of a lame quest. I already looked in those, didn't I? Oh, iron. 
There we go. Bookbinder. Materials and you. Which one do I need? Oh, any book will freaking do. <sighs> one, two, three. One. Alright, let's go. Let's go. It's gonna be stealth mission. Nobody's on. Nobody will see us. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, no. It's not a weapon. Ah, it's just a cast. And just in case. Two of them. Two of them. I don't even see where the other one is. Uh, we will be going this direction. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, nope. No, you don't. Yeah. Oop. Mm -mm -mm. So clay, I found out, is a block that the hellfish cannot go through. They cannot sit inside of or anything else like that. And here... Every clay block is on top of a hellfish block. Look at that. That's how I marked them when I came through. Because they were clearly uh, swarming through that area. So, uh, Talonine has an upper and a lower uh, casting area that I was used to make a couple of quick little things. Is Oh. He actually closed off his staircase? Okay. Um, so I think this might be part of the automated one. At least it doesn't look like... Oh no, yeah, this is where... This does look like the one I remember. Okay, so we will need to use this, and... What I'm going to do, hopefully here... Yeah. Oh. There we go. Okay, so it's just going to wind up in here. I'm good with that. Let's uh, put this back. Let's make sure. Okay, I do think that's, that's where it will go. And we can do it actually anywhere. Let me just grab my book. Put it in there. One little piece of cobble. And I'll just sit here. Sip on my drink. Mm-hmm. One of the most easy quests ever. Let's snoop while we wait. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, here we go. It's all the maritime stuff. I have not gotten anywhere near doing any of these things yet. There's the pearl oysters. Underwater. All being fed sand, I believe, by the impulse ducks here. Yeah. Wow. Lots of pearls. And the safety walrus. Oh, yeah. What is that? Fish feeder. Sniff. Safety rail. Make sure you know that's not a solid brick. It's not a slightly do or slightly darker blue brick. Mm -mm -mm. Of that fluid tank, crucible furnace. It's apparently a multi-block. Incubator top. Incubator base. Okay, well, that's all stuff we'll have to figure out one of these days. Mm -mm -mm. Up. Oh, come on. That was plenty of time. You know, I'm suddenly wondering if that's going to turn on both of these basins. I 
Alright, stop being a derp. Whatever. What freaking ever. Almost there. We'll get our four milli buckets. Come on. Four milli buckets. Eight milli buckets. Whatever. Turn that on. Seriously? Turn that off. Alright, this is already not going to end well. Let's put that in there. We're going to need another one. Steelworks and you. 8 milli buckets, normal book, should get me Steelworks and you. Book 340. I just put a normal book in there, right? Book 340. Yeah, see, that's what I thought it was going to do. Ah. All right, fine, fine. How do I get a material? Just paper. Okay, so I can replace that. Not too worried. I did bring my binder just in case. Set that down there. In it goes. Oh. Hmm. Sorting people's chests. Oh my gosh, he's got a lot of pyruthium dust. Sulfur. That's what you need for that. A lot of people have been working on uh, replacing thermal expansion pipes. We've tracked back uh, most of the crashes, actually, to thermal expansion at this point in time. And specifically, the pipes, the pipes, the item pipes, moving stuff through them. Uh, so he's grinding and filling. It's all fairly safe work. Even mine does that. Ah, <laughs> uh, but not sifting, which is good. But this is actually right here in this little watery stream. This is what I based mine off of originally. But then when I found out the hoppers and the vacuum hoppers had the same problem, I went back to the vacuum hopper because these only move single items at a time. Um, new, 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 new. The uh, vacuum hoppers move stacks at a time. And we are almost there. We're going to end up having spent most of the episode doing just this. <laughs> Go figure. What's for me? I wonder if he picks these or not. Okay, this... Infinite water stored on top of water... Doesn't that just cycle around? I wish I had my bucket. Maybe these dehydrate over time and they need to be refilled? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we are ready. Son of a... <sighs> you know what I'm thinking now? It's not over a basin. It's over a table. Casting table. I am a schmuck. Alright, so I think... Still has seared stone. Good, good, good. Good, freakity good. What happened to my book? No, seriously, what happened to my book? Well, mm. I am stupid. It's in the other. <laughs> Can you guys tell it's late? It's been a long day. Still don't know where my book went though. There we go. And that's back to off again. 
Put the tables back in the right order for him. Sneaky little hopper. There we go. It's like we were never here. Never at all. Except there's a uh, book around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, this is also handy. This is, uh, you can use for the filters. Oh, he actually does have a filter here. There we go. It's not doing anything, though. Hmm, I wonder what the point of that is. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty, so... Manually submit. Shall claim a reward. Graveyard soil. Yellorium dust. That might be fun to build with. <laughs> High oven. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. And no. Alright, we're done with that one. We did a little bit of steel power. This is the one I really want to get into. So, wizard school. And it can't be too long of an episode. The last one was pretty long, and I need to record uh, Skyrim this evening still. And this evening is already 1 a.m. <laughs> So, uh, we will try and get this first quest done. Hopefully it won't take too many steps. Swoosh. Oh, yeah. Mr. Smiley. Nope, nope, nope. Woohoo! Don't set them free. Actually, I don't think they can blow up blocks, so they can't set the silverfish free. But I can still scream it as I'm running across the ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and with the end of that trip, there. Even with the magnum torch, pigmen still get through. How you doing? Oh, are you almost full? Nope. You're just full with the first one. Yeah. Cool. And that's all running still. Yep, see some items coming down there. That's good, that's good. Oh, um, I have had this going. Uh, see how I only have half of it on? Oh, it's empty. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I'll show you what I was doing. Uh, there is one type of orberry bush that I would like having. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. <laughs> so I'm not sifting the normal stuff. I am sifting stone. And stone gives you orberry bushes, which I really don't care about, except for one. The essence berry bush, which is the bush that gives you the uh, XP berries. I think that an automation system for that sort of thing, uh, that could lead to mob essence, could be very handy. And two essence berry bushes there so far. And one over here. So we're actually doing pretty good. Let's get back to focusing on... You're a wizard, so I need a Thaumonomicon, which I do believe is still obtained in the same manner as everything else, and the Sacrificial Knife, which I've never made before. Um, so I'm gonna need books. <laughs> Watch the book I just made be the one that I... need. Seriously? Okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> now I know we left nothing behind. Ooh, ooh. Good reward bag. Maybe I can get some jello. Ah, oh, son of a. <sighs> meh. 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 Meh, 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 meh. 
Meh, 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 meh. That's my mess song. Okay. Do, do, do. Nope, over the side. We're going to need reeds. Which were right here. And I need a lot of these. Oh, man. I haven't had a reed farm in a very long time. Ah. Uh, and I hate to end on a downer note, but I just don't see this as being possible. Not this evening. Not unless there's a new way to get a Thaumonomicon. No. Ah, well. So, I will be making a uh, reed farm here <laughs> in the not too far future. I guess we'll have to end it off with that uh, for the end of our episode. Mm -hmm. Keeping track of the dirt. Because uh, we need three. Oh no, wait, right there, right? I think we actually can do it. Where did I put that leather? One, two, three. Mm -mm -mm. Cause we only need one bookcase. And God knows I have more than enough wood. Oh! <laughs> I used to be able to peek at my crafting table from this side until I put up the tool forge, I guess. And this isn't enchanting, I don't need a whole set of bookshelves. Oh, I forgot how to make a wand, though. Iron capped wooden wand? Iron caps, okay, just the nuggets. And a stick. I got those. Actually. Yeah, okay. Uh, I can't do the gold band great wood. See, I thought... Yeah. Okay. I guess that's, that's the part that I can't make. Uh, invar nuggets. Those are not going to be useful, so... In they go. One. And two. Oop, we got another bush. There we go. And a stick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Iron capped wand with absolutely no mana in it. Hopefully, it'll still be enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are Thaumanomenon. Oh, yeah. Which I'm told is in easy mode. So it'll all be good. <laughs> Alright, uh, sack. Reficial dagger. Easy. I got that in spades. Mm -mm -mm. Need one of them, one of those, and I usually keep my glass down here. Perfect. Swap back to the quest book. Manually submit. Efficiency rune, rune of sacrifice. Eh. We get a reward bag, we get our dagger, another wand, a full heart, and a thaumonomicon. Oh yeah. Sky shards, blood magic. And then they combine down here for whatever the hell this is. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, let's let's uh, take a look at our greater goodie bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> Useful reward. Oh uh, no, I have two of them, so I don't have to worry so much. Let us put one in our reward chest. Yay. 
can seem to get an extra life, so it's not a bad one. We got our Thaumonomicon. That. Two wands. Oh, it's a fully charged wand. Nice. Nice. We got this as our reward. Let's see what the next... Maybe we'll do one more. You may have noticed a minor lack of infused stone. Yeah, I kind of kind of noticed that. You may also be wondering how you're supposed to get shards for crafting Thalmcraft recipes. Mm -hmm. Luckily enough, we have our own evil sky overlords. Thought you might whine about that. And Zero kindly made it possible to take a hammer from Ex Nihilo or Nex Aqualio and hit blocks to produce shards at an admittedly rather small drop rate. The blocks to hit are Obsidian, TNT, Ice, Grass, Stone Slabs stacked on top of each other, and Netherrack. Well, you know, as luck would have it, Mm, yeah. One of these was technically not a reward. One of these was a gift. I just put them all together so I know where they were. Let's just give this a try, shall we? Eh, two out of, uh... Ah, uh, two out of four, not too bad. How many of these do we need, actually? Oh, uh, one of each. So, oh, 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 let me get back there. Um, obsidian, I got that too. Ah, let's get two just in case. Oh god, obsidian. I'll just, uh, do that one later. <laughs> oh, what is next for us? TNT I can make. Grass we already did. Sandstone slabs. Okay, sandstone slabs. Uh, I actually, believe it or not, get quite a bit of sand in here. Let's head around the corner here. I believe... That gets me that. I'm going to need three of those. Three of those. There's the slabs. Should be the first one I get this time. There we go. And since these are kind of quick, I don't want them hanging in my inventory. Ah, it gives us the air shard. TNT. Ooh, destruction droplet. Nope. Let's just do four things of sand, and there it is. Five of those. Uh, we might need more than one, you know. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Watch this go very badly. Okay. Didn't go as badly as I thought. One, two, three, four, five. Very badly in that area. <laughs> Entropy shard. Ah, uh, the last one is ice. So I got obsidian, TNT. I don't have any ice. Grass, sandstone, and slabs. So the water shard 
It's going to elude me. Nice. Oh, I could do it through there. Those are the only two places that produce ice, eh? I thought there was a freezing thingy from thermal expansion that would make ice and snow. Oh, so I guess we stop here. Um, I'll need to go and investigate the blood magic stuff, I guess, so I'm making a blood altar. Mm -mm -mm. Blood altar. I have all that stuff readily available. We'll just quickly pop through that one. <laughs> and I needed smooth stone, diamond, two gold. Four smooth stone, I believe. And I just, I literally moved it all over to here right before we started. I used to have quite a stack of some stone over... Hey. Yeah. Away with you? I need to upgrade that barrel. <laughs> That's something I meant to do during this episode, but... I wanted to do the quests, and that first one took a little too long. Alright, I'll get rid of you later. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Ta-da! Uh oh, weak blood orb. <laughs> I got a feeling it's going to keep on doing this to me. Oh, okay. Um, I think we'll need that. I forgot the diamond. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. So how do I do this? Oh. Did a bit of damage. Yeah. <laughs> How much does this need? Yeah, I should probably read this. <laughs> uh, a task where the player can hand in items or fluids when can use them. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, quest. To start blood magic, you will need to use the sacrificial orb to siphon orb, or I use, we have the knives, to siphon ten hearts worth of life's essence, essence into the blood altar. Throw a diamond in the center and create a weak blood orb. Does it do it over time, or do I need to, like, start over? hey -o. Something tells me I need to do it all at once. How do I get that back out of there? There we go. Okay, so maybe without this on top, it will actually be able to keep and store the blood? Looks like it's staying. So that was two. There's three, four. Oh my gosh, I am really zoomed in now. <laughs> oh, this is actually going to take a little bit longer than uh, 
all that smelting. Ah. It does seem to be staying though, right? I'm not losing my mind. Oh, okay, this is going to be a good time to use something else that I got, which technically I think should be in the rewards chest. So I'm pretty sure that was where I got them. Somewhere around here, though, I should have a couple of healing potions. But I'm really interested in the regeneration potion. These are all chests that I've just forgotten about now. Eventually that stuff needs to go through the sorting system. Like, I don't know how to tell how much blood I have in there. Whoa! Give me that back. Alright, I do think it is full. Oh, you know, it was doing that last time and I took it off. Maybe it just takes a little while to convert. I could be a dumbass. But it has enough blood now. <laughs> we. Mm -hmm. Uh, throw a diamond in the center. Orb store life essence for powering rituals and spells. Be careful until you have a mob farm and sacrifice runes in place. You will need. Use magic sparingly, or you may die. Patience is a virtue. Oh, okay, so I just needed to wait. Gimme, gimme! <laughs> oh. oh, it's gonna give it to me back, okay. Yay! <laughs> Alright, this is definitely it, guys. Consume to get an extra life. Nine remaining. Let's see what our goodie bag got us this time. Ah, oh, well, not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. So we are on our way into magic. Um, again, everything is going to be a temporary setup. I am getting close to being able to build uh, houses and such. I got one two, and two plateaus done and the flat end down here done. So I might be able to start building something pretty soon that would be more of a permanent structure. I think what I'm going to end up doing, though, is just, you know coming over to this thing and going up oh, here's my donation enjoy and then go off and do something while I heal <laughs> just keep on storing blood oh, we'll see how that goes though so until the next time guys thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed the episode did a little bit of questing I was hoping to get through more of it but we did enough and uh, we'll try and get some ice so we can keep on going down on Thomcraft. so until next time have a good one